Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Flo's Kitchen again. So today, I'm not the one who's going to be cooking, it's going to be my wonderful hubby Eric who will do the honours. And he is going to cook for you our family favourite pork loin steaks in lemongrass. You can of course use pork chops, but just because um, it's easier for the kids to eat pork loin um, because the meat is more tender. So that's what we're going to use instead. So let's get started. Okay, so we start with about 600 grams of pork loin, um, so which is about six slices. And the ingredients are, ignore the chicken wings because we're actually cooking a, a separate dish after that. We've got some dried lemongrass. Um, I'd say it's probably about um, two tablespoons of, uh, you can get sort of, uh, dry lemongrass or you can get fresh ones and then just chop it up. So it's roughly about um, two tablespoons and then to marinade We just simply use fish sauce, which again you can get from any um, supermarket uh, Chinese supermarket and I think nowadays again most supermarkets uh, sell fish sauce uh, oyster sauce and just sugar and um, and a bit of corn flour and also some chicken seasoning and oops and pepper and a little bit of chicken seasoning uh, it's called chicken powder but uh, that's optional but it does you know give it that extra so if you remember that process of uh, thumping <laughs> and bashing the meat just to test the rice My husband is actually a far better cook than I am. And he's very fast as well. So here we've got um, about two tablespoons of fish sauce and three teaspoons of demerara sugar. And a, about a tablespoon of oyster sauce. Just mix it together for the marinade. Some, a good sprinkle of pepper. That's white pepper, isn't it? Mm. White yeah. pepper. Some water. And about two teaspoons of corn flour. The corn flour actually helps as a, um, a thickening agent as well, as well as just it just binds everything together. And also um, when the meat sits in the marinade, it also helps to tenderize. Now you add the lemongrass. Oh, you can smell it already. It's really fragrant. Lemongrass is one of my most favorite herbs. So, so fra fragrant. The marinade into the tray. And then we will put the meat in just to Yeah, just cover the meat. So now we leave the meat to marinate for approximately half an hour. Um, and just the flavor will really, really um, soak into the meat and it will tenderize it at the same time. Okay, we've got a curry on the go. <laughs> so now, the pork been marinating for about an hour, actually. So I just try to really render the fat. So that it becomes crispy. Mm. So you can see it's starting to turn golden brown. Mm. Smells really yummy. 
just for your interest, we've uh, he's also put some um, curry chicken wings in uh, with okra in a uh, sort of like a Malaysian style curry. It's really really nice. <laughs> I'm a lucky girl. Of course, if you prefer, you can use pork chops. Which I think if you put pork chops on the bone, it's more even tastier. And then you just put that aside and put the rest in. too high because otherwise you just end up burning the pork before it's thoroughly cooked so just on I would say just on medium heat you can see all the oil that comes from the, the fat of the pork all rendered out mm. right as you can see um, I've cut it up into smaller bite-sized pieces and to finish off, just garnish with some fresh coriander. Beautiful. And voila. Served with steaming hot jasmine rice and you have an absolutely delicious meal which the family will love. Mmm, yummy. <laughs> Look at what you're oh, Thumbs up? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well done. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, then please give it a like. And if you haven't already subscribed, then please do subscribe to my channel to see what else I get up to. So until next time, take care and don't forget to smile.